Model X surprises its owner, the ChargePoint network gets a boost, California is looking at more EV incentives, and another fresh legal fight. Here is Tesla Tidbits episode number 260 for June 29th, 2017. We started Electrek, where it's been reported that a Model X in China had its airbags spontaneously deploy at a traffic light despite nobody hitting the vehicle. Tesla China says that this is the first incident of its kind. Now here's the odd part. Tesla obviously wants to access the car to see what went wrong, but the owner will not provide access, citing a wish for a third party to inspect the car. Tesla agreed to this third party supervision, but a month following the accident, no progress has actually been made. Electrek also reports that ChargePoint has struck a deal to acquire GE's charging network, instantly adding 10,000 charging stations to its network. This makes ChargePoint far and away the largest independent EV charging network in the U.S. Pasquale Romano, CEO and president of ChargePoint, said, quote, A reliable and consistent charging experience is crucial for fostering EV adoption, and these are the key elements that ChargePoint has integrated into our business model for more than a decade. We are excited to expand our network with the acquisition of GE's network and have worked closely with the GE team to ensure a seamless transition for customers and drivers. We are gr- growing globally and are the best equipped to bring former GE customers and drivers into the ChargePoint family. End quote. More charging infrastructure is always welcome. Still with Electric, we've got word that California, already the leader in the U.S. in EV adoption, wants to further that lead. California has a goal of getting 1.5 million EVs on the road before the year 2025 and a whopping 5 million before 2030. They've got work to do as they've only got about 300,000 as it stands today. However, it seems they've got a plan up their sleeve to kickstart things. New legislation introduced today would earmark up to $3 billion for EV incentives, updating the current EV incentive legislation. Assemblymember Phil Ting has introduced Assembly Bill 1184, which will come up for vote next week, and will alter its existing program to see buyers get an instant rebate when buying, rather than getting it after the fact. This is something I've already been talking about regarding the federal rules, that it really doesn't make EVs more affordable since the monthly payment amount for loans taken out to purchase the vehicle will not change when getting the money after the fact. The bill would do much to actually affect EV affordability. The amounts awarded would not change from current levels, which range from $1,500 to $5,000, depending on income level and the type of vehicle being purchased. Mr. Ting said of the incentives, quote, They would be valued initially to make the cost of battery-powered vehicles comparable to similar models of gasoline-powered vehicles, after federal and other credits, end quote. It's a wonderful idea, and here's hoping it passes for our friends in California. Lastly tonight, Teslarati reports to us that we've got another legal battle brewing over Tesla stores. This time we see Virginia wading into the fight with its Virginia Automobile Dealers Association, or VADA. In much the same way Tesla got itself going in Arizona, it simply applied to the Virginia DMV for a license to run a dealership, which the DMV was going to grant. Also, like Arizona, the VADA is blocking the application on legal grounds, and the judge in the case has ruled that the VADA can legally appeal to the court to challenge the DMV's decision to grant the license to operate. This is one of these that isn't looking very good for Tesla already, as the DMV did go against a hearing officer's recommendation that the application be denied in December when the application was made. As with all of these legal shenanigans, I'll keep you updated as we get new information. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. As always, many thanks to my super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, and William Henry Crew III. Of course, if you have no dollars to toss my way, no worries. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the internet, or keep the show referral code in mind if you're in the market for a Tesla. That code is ts.la slash jon4602 and will get you $1,000 off the car and free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. One final note, if you haven't been watching my Twitter feed, you don't know that I've been given a delivery date for my Model S. I pick it up this Friday at 4. As I've said, I hope to record a very special tidbits from the road, pending approval from the delivery staff. I've sent them a message about it, but haven't heard anything yet, so fingers crossed. 
That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.